Hmm. 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 I'm going to work. These two are like, yeah, look at us. We're having a great day. You go ahead and go to work, Daddy. We're just doing awesome. Here's a question. I know some of you know the answer to it. And I know the white hair fucks with people's minds. How old do you think I am? Somebody at work today asked me how old I was. And I was like, oh, how old do you think I am? And she answered. And it hurt my feelings a little bit. I mean, yeah, I get it. I have white hair. But... I really am not wrinkly at all or anything like that, so the age she gave me kind of hurt. Not, like, actually bothered me, but I'm like, really? What the fuck? It's white hair. <laughs> like, I have a buddy that grayed at, like, 22. So, how old do you think I am? How old? Put it down there. So this is our gas station. We just filled up. This truck cost $350 to fill up. That's where he hangs out. Those are his little tanks. Why does it cost so much? Because the gas has to get flown up. Um, there's a cargo plane that comes up. Usually once a week. And um, yeah, so it costs a little bit for stuff. You know, there's a lot of like biker and Celtic and Viking jewelry you can buy all over the internet. And you know, if you're, if you're somebody that looks like a biker or looks like a Viking or anything like that, you're probably of a little bit of a larger variety. Well, I bought a bracelet, bought the biggest bracelet they made, which was like nine inches. It was 8.95 inches. And I measured it. It actually is 8.95 inches. It does not fit very well. It's so tight. You can't move it. I, it takes me 10 minutes to get it on because it just fits. Um, and there's nothing bigger that I've found. I mean, usually you're finding like 8.25, 8.5. Uh, so <laughs> the jewelry's made for little people. I'm not a little person. I'm not a little person. What the fuck? So I'm making some dogs and burgers. Harvest meats. And I know I'm ignoring those burgers that are kind of burning. I don't eat them anyway. My kids like them burnt. Harvest meats are the most expensive wieners I've bought. You know what would make them cheaper? I'm not fucking individually wrapping each wiener. Like, what the fuck is this shit? So it's Sunday. It's my day off. Um, what are my plans today? I'm going to go spend a few hours stalking the store. Yeah, I said it's my day off, and I'm going to spend a few hours stalking the store. Go in right now, do a little bit of stock, probably do some of my orders for tomorrow so I don't have to do them all tomorrow. Um, after that, it is going to be uh, some painting in the basement. Uh, the kids want to go on a skidoo ride, so we might get the GoPro out and go out. Um, we did get another skidoo in just uh, Friday, so a couple days ago. I already have it put together. It has been, it is purchased already. We just got to get a hold of the guy that wanted it. Um, actually, apparently him and his dad buy a skidoo from us every year, and his dad's already bought his. But, uh, so right over there is the Expedition. The Expedition is like the longest machine you can get. And it did not fit in the truck. It had to actually be driven here from the airport. But scary thing is I do not hear any water dripping into my sewage tank right now. That worries me quite a bit. We do have the Grand Touring that needs to be sold still. Uh, I do need to get a new windshield for it. I need to get a battery and some torque nuts for this guy. And I need to get skis for this guy because those dogs like that uh, one that was just on my porch as we left, they've been chewing them up. And then inside the pump house, we need to do an entire new system. So currently we have water. Uh, well... At least the store in Gilbert, uh, Wilbert does. I don't know for sure if I do, because like I said, I did have my water running and I don't hear any dripping outside, which could tell me that my pipe's frozen again since there's no heat trace. But we'll know for sure shortly. When I go home, I'll take a shower and see if I uh, freeze it up again. Or, well, if I uh, clog it up again or not. Um, other than that, we are doing fairly okay. Yeah, 
And by that fairly okay, I mean we have water, we just can't drink it. It's still a boiled water advisory uh, here in this area. I bought a giant tennis ball for the dogs, but you gotta blow it up yourself. So I have to set up my cheap little air hose right now. So we're standing outside right now with no coat, of course. It is plus seven degrees. It is February the 12th. Um, it's really looking like we're not getting a winter road this year. I am going to try and jump on the skidoo and drive down to the winter road to show you guys what an ice road is. Uh, ice road truckers have actually had several episodes here in this town. I believe season three, season five, and season six have episodes coming here to Deer Lake. Um, but the ice right now, it was 20, it was 20 inches thick two days ago, which meant it could take up to a pickup truck, um, driving on it. It is now at 19 inches thick, um, and it's not looking like it's going to get much better anytime soon. There is snow melting everywhere. Like, look at my, look at my stairs right now. So, I mean, we, we are having this problem and this problem is something that a lot of these northern communities are going to have because with climate change uh, comes the fact that there's no reliability in your winter road. Your winter road is what you use to bring equipment up. It's what you use to bring materials up to build with. Uh, there are houses and buildings that were supposed to get built that probably aren't getting built now. Uh, the renovation of our store might get pushed back even further because they were going to start sending up materials this year uh, for next year's renovation so that next year they could send up some more trucks with, with materials. Um, vehicles, people buying trucks and cars and all that, you can't get them up here if they can't get pulled up here um our vehicles we have two trucks that need to be repaired for the store we can't get them out um i was supposed to have a side by side coming up can't come up on a plane so i'm not getting my side by side um just lots of different things that you don't really realize you have a problem with until it hits and then you're like oh shit what do we do now sorry i'm just looking at my barbecue which is a little messed up there we go uh so just just all these all these things that you don't realize and take for granted because when you're when you're in the south when you're not in the arctic or subarctic you can get you can get stuff all the time it can just get brought to you here not so much i mean what you see is what you get and right now you're not seeing a lot uh again uh and then grocery prices don't go down we have some products that go down 25 cents with winter road we have some products that go down by more than 50 percent and it's all based on being able to get it here and um we can't get it here there is 10 communities that get a winter road an ice road from uh from our company that are probably not getting one uh, the winter road would close in about four weeks. So unless the next two weeks after this are like all in the negative 20s and 30s, and then we can rush trucks in for a week and a half, uh, we're, we're SOL on a lot of things. Uh, so yeah, I still have one, two, three, four. I have six skidoos still to sell, and I'm supposed to have like nine more coming. Uh, without the winter road, those nine more aren't coming, but I'm supposed to have nine more coming. So, you know, it's one of those what the fucks. Uh, anyway, time to go inside.